firmware updates are important. Sometimes just for the fact that uh, it makes our devices run better, more stable. Sometimes they give us some features that have been asked for. The Insta360 Ace Pro looks like it has a new firmware. Now, I'm not 100% sure when this came out, but I believe it would have came out in the last few days. Come over here, just so you can see, this is the previous firmware update. So we have like an EV compensation. I think this is like a, maybe stability, low light stabilization, right? And an auto white balance. I'm just gonna scroll that over. The other thing that is on by default here, which is something that a lot of people were wishing that they could turn on or off, is when you are shooting in 24 frame or 30 frame in 4K, you have the auto HDR. It turns on, you can't turn it off. It is what it is. And some people will just wish that they had that ability to turn this off. So if you come in here to video mode, for instance, and come here, and you'll actually see there's a little HDR icon beside it. And as soon as you go to 30, it's it's turns on. No, right? Turns on, turns on. Come up here to 48, turns off turned off. But in these, you may want to be able to turn them off. The new firmware. So if we come down out of this and come into, for instance, settings, which is here, camera info, you'll see this is version 1.0.27. Now what we're going to do, and this is, this is what makes updating the Insta360 so nice, is we are going to turn on the Insta360 app. I'll speed through this a little bit so you guys don't have to watch all the dead spots. We're going to go to my Ace Pro, join its Wi-Fi, and you'll see new firmware. And what you can see here now supports integration with motorcycle helmet headsets from a new one, V-Moto V9S, which is awesome. There's a new, new list. Adds a new active HDR toggle option, allowing users to switch active HDR on or off. That's a big one for a lot of people. Uh, free frame and loop recording modes now have added act active HDR with support for active HDR toggle. You can now get clarity zoom in photo mode. Not a big thing for me, but for those that want that, it's good. I guess for framing, it would be nice. But if you shoot in full res, then you can just crop. I would think it's going to be very similar. And there's a sharpness setting that has been moved for that page for independent sharpness adjustments, which is also really good. It also says introduce face zooming input features in the webcam. I, that's not something that I'm going to ever use, but there's there's some good ones. The two big ones for me are going to be, well, the photo one's kind of cool. I, I think that's kind of nice. To be able to have access to the sharpness, I think is really good. And being able to toggle on and off the HDR in the 30 frame and 24 frame modes. I think that's going to be good. It's great for whoever uses this helmet audio from this brand, but it works already on mine. So for those of you that have this brand, cool. Anyways, let's start the download. As you can see, these download pretty fast. They're not usually huge pieces of software, as long as you have decent internet. You're looking at probably about a minute or so. Uploading firmware. This is going to check install we just wait make sure you have a good charge battery for this because you don't want this to mess up in the middle because that that would be bad update successful very good and it's going to restart and honestly at this point i don't even really need the app anymore so the big ones here is if you slide over now you do have sharpness so this is in the manual so high medium low and highest so i'm going to set mine down to medium for now but nice to be able to have access to that right there in 4k now the other thing of course that's important here is if you actually click on this 4k frame rate 24 25 that doesn't have the auto hdr there you now have a toggle up top for active hdr do you want to be able to turn this on or off so again yeah that's pretty cool and last but not least for me i'm going to leave that off for right now we can we can play with that later Last thing, which is one that I like is, again, if we actually tap on here and we go to photo mode, once it fires over to photo mode, we actually have that ability to punch in, right? You guys may be, may be able to see it, probably not. Maybe if I tip it a little bit, you can see it punches in. Now, again, my idea is this is strictly actually just cropping into that 8K sensor. So you get that two times zoom. But, you know, it's nice if you are going to be using this and being able to frame with the camera. So if you want to be able to frame on something and be able to move in and 
actually framed how you want it, I could see it being useful. All right, guys, new firmware for the Ace Pro. Uh, it's nice to see them actually sending out some good firmwares and being able to send out firmwares uh, fairly quickly. Uh, go get it. Ace Pro. New firmware. I'll see you tomorrow.